guys what's going on my name is Louis. today is september 14 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys if you can please share this video subscribe and hit that notification bell we have multiple breaking news number one vladimir threatens war with nato as the bear military aircraft spotted off alaska look at that we have more breaking news updates it's not only aircraft, but they also deploy nuclear submarines. British Navy shadows the Bear submarine in English Channel as four of the Bear vessels enter UK. So he's sending a message. You guys know UK want to push the uh, well, give the green light to fire long range, and also the US want to give the green light to fire long range so four nuclear bombers out there near the uk and then we have uh, multiple aircraft near alaska all right guys before i start for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 we're going to see what's going on here, guys. We have multiple breaking news. You guys already know we talked about this one here. Uh, you have a Canada, Canada Prime Minister basically declaring biblical war on the bear. This here is a big breaking news. Let me just uh, show you this really quick. It says here, after threat from Vladimir over NATO strikes via crane... On the Bear Territory, you have certain age agency, I'm going to skip that name, push narrative that U.S. can destroy the Bear and the Red Dragon in two hours. The Bear hypersonic missiles can arrive in Europe in minutes, in D.C. and New York City in 30 minutes. This is... Just in well, not in case, but uh, if we continue going this route, that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna be firing these uh nukes, and trust me, guys, ain't nobody gonna win WW3. So, master of the air, US could wipe out the bear and the red dragon nuke launch pads in two hours. A face of WW3 from land, sea, and air. Fighter jets fire long range missiles. Stealth bombers fire bombs and short range missiles. Ships launch Tomahawk cruise missiles. US lands bases launch ballistic missiles. Submarine launch missiles. They make it sound so easy, but uh, again, the other side, well, Boom. Yeah. The other side could also see something too. Like I said, nobody wins WW3 here. All these information is coming out today. is very concerning of info. So the sleeping giant will not be able to sit out, sit it out overseas in the event of a nuclear biblical war in Europe. They should stop playing with fire. The bear ambassador to Washington. Sending a picture? Mm. And again, guys, uh, they haven't given the green light yet to fight the long range. Matter of fact, I don't know why they keep saying that uh, Crane to give the green light. Because they can't fire long range. They don't have the axis. They don't have the button. We have to fire it. We have to push the button. So, again, it's just so weird that it keeps saying, you know, Crane, just give Crane the green light. Let them fire the long range. They don't have the access, the ability. They don't have it. It's us. We don't want to push the button. Literally, playing with fire, world reacts to Vladimir warning on NATO long range. 
It says Reacts have poured into Vladimir Stark warning Thursday that a decision by NATO countries to green light the capital of Ukraine use of Western long range strike system to strike target deep inside the bear will land the alliance in a technical state of biblical war with the bear. All right, we're going to start with this one here. Let's see what's going on with this. This is coming out from Fox, all right? So we have bombers out there in Alaska, near Alaska. Vladimir warned <clears throat> that his country will be at war with uh, NATO if the West lifts restriction on its missile in Ukraine. His announcement comes on the heels of the bear military aircraft being spotted flying off the coast of Alaska. Now, the leader, Joe, among other Western nation leaders, has come under intense pressure to lift the U.S. ban on Ukraine using our equipment to strike deep inside the bear. This will mean that NATO countries, the U.S. and European lands, are at war with the bear. And if this is the case, then bearing in mind the change in, the, uh, in sense of the conflict, we will make appropriate decisions and responds to the warning that will be posed to us, Vladimir told reporters on Thursday. Come on, sleeping giant. I thought you guys say you're willing to move heaven and earth for Crane. Fire! Fire the long range. Come on, sleeping giant. Show the world what you're made of. Mean, uh, meanwhile, UKPM arrived in D.C. on Friday for talks with Joe that are expected to largely center on the use of these equipments to strike inside the bear country. The U.S. scrambled the Russians' uh, fighter jets and had detected flying in the Alaska Air Defense Identification Zone on Thursday. In a post to X, the North American Airspace Defense Command said it detected and intercepted planes, but they did not violate airspace. This, the bear activity in the Alaska, this is not seen as a warning, and NORAD will continue to monitor competitor activity near the North American and meet presence with presence. So, again, guys, I believe those nuclear uh, submarines. And those uh, military aircraft, um, I believe Vladimir is sending a message. You hit my land, we coming. We're coming. Secretary of State. So uh, doubts that uh, allowing free reign with uh, Sleeping Giant provided Army Tactical Missile System, ATAX, which, by the way, Crane, they don't have the... The, the button. They cannot push this. They can't. We have to push it. Once again, ATAC's missile will change the tide of the biblical war. Mmm. Look at that. I find that relationship, bet relationship between what the Pentagon is advising that the leader based on intelligence versus the international pressure to be the really interesting part of the story. Seth, a retired Army colonel and VP at international security firm Global Guardian, told the news. Ahead of the discussion, Moscow said, it revoked accreditation for six of British diplomats in the bear, accusing them of spying. Oh, man. Doesn't look good for them. Absolutely not. Vladimir on Thursday raised doubts about whether Crane could even use long range. Listen up. This is very important. Very important. And Vladimir is right on this one here. So Crane could even use long range for offensive strike alone without the help of us. NATO. U.S. The Ukrainian army is not capable they don't have the access. They don't have the ability of using these very powerful long-range systems supplied by us without assistance, with, without our assistance. 
So here's the deal, guys. Um, they cannot push the button. We have to. So it's not giving Crane the green light. It's us declaring biblical war. That's what it is. But they, you know, they like to kind of twist it and just, you know, well, Crane want us to give him the green light. We might do it. But that's not the, again, that's not how it's supposed to be said. I mean, it's basically it's us getting involved. The real risk here is either a manufactured event by the bear with disinformation or no kidding. A mistake happening using these powerful equipments that could trigger W. W three. All right, aircraft are still out there. They're not too far from Alaska. Unbelievable. That's where we at. That is where we at. How come the uh, sleeping giants taking forever? Push the button. Just do it. Push the button. You guys say you're willing to move heaven and earth. For Crane, British Navy shadows the bear submarine in English Channel as the four as four the bear vessels enter UK. Mm -mm -mm. It says here you have the British Royal Navy and Royal Air Force follow multiple of the bear ships and submarines through the English Channel this week at a time of heightened tensions over British involvement in the Bear Crane conflict. HMS Iron Duke and HMS Tyne have tracked four of the Bear vessels through UK waters in recent days as RAF jets intercepted a Bear strategic bomber on Wednesday. Mm. The Navy's warship shadowed the Bear advances to protect national security as four vessels sailed through the English Channel in the North Sea. Two RAF typhoons were also scrambled from RAF uh, Lucy Month on Wednesday, supported by a Voyager from RAF Bryce Norton to intercept the bear to intercept Russian bear F aircraft. Now the developments come at a point of heightened tensions between the bear and British over Moscow ongoing biblical war in Ukraine and British backing of Kiev. Once again, you have the former leader of the bear, Dmitry, threatening to sink, sink Britain in remarks he made earlier this week. Dmitry remarks, at a press conference earlier this week, British Foreign uh, Secretary Davis said there could be a 100-year partnership to support Ukraine with by UK. Hearing those remarks, once again, uh, the deputy chairman of the Bear Council said, uh, number one, he's lying. Number two, the so-called crane will not last even a quarter of this period. And number three, an island called Britain is likely to sink in the next few years. If necessary, our hypersonic will help, Dimitri wrote on the social network X. For those of you that don't know, they have a the submarine that could cause a massive tsunami. 1,640 foot wave. I mean, just looking up and I'm completely just covering the entire city. And not only that, the water is bitter, poison. So this is where we at. The bear is sending very powerful message. Aircraft near Alaska for nuclear subs near UK. Don't provoke the bear. Don't poke the bear. This is the reason why they haven't said anything yet. But this man here, he just, he just uh, again, he acting all tough and this and that. But uh, yeah, it just, mm -mm. Let's see what's going on with this one. The White House choose to pretend. Uh, chose to pretend. Vladimir warning didn't exist. With Joe press secretary telling reporters she wouldn't get into hypotheticals or 
internal policy deliberation after being asked how concerned Washington should be. Again, she always dodged the questions. British opposition politician Mr. David called on NATO to immediately de-escalate uh, de excuse me, de-escalate uh, de the Ukraine conflict and end hostility with the bear. French opposition politician Florian accused NATO of trying to trigger WW3 before November, before November, where a dawn of victory will be a catastrophe for the Hawks and said that Vladimir showed he understand this well with his comments. Vladimir has warned that this would mean a NATO and a bear war. In other words, a world war. France must withdraw from this total madness. Mm. SpaceX! Tesla and ex-CEO Elon took to social media to say he has a very bad feeling about this. Very bad feeling about this! Yeah, same, wrote X spaces star Mario. Me too, entrepreneur and internet influencer Kim. We are literally playing with fire, foreign policy analyst and a sleeping giant um, army comeback vet David said in a YouTube analyst warning those Western, you know, who don't seem to understand that their actions are edging the planet towards a massive WW3. The red line is clear as day. The ball is now in NATO's court. Let's pray they know what they're doing. Independent Irish journalist Che Bose tweeted, It now seems obvious that Zelensky's victory plan is to lose. To lose so badly that his embarrassment partners will have to drag us to the brick of WW3 to save his, you know what, and this is when the saying comes out. We are willing to move heaven and earth for Crane. That's what Joe said. That's what the sleeping giant said. We are willing to move heaven and earth for Crane. Let me go back uh, on Twitter and see if there's any updates. And again, guys, please share the video. And thank you so much for your support. Um, give me a second here. Hmm. See what's going on with this story here. Yeah, I want to bring this one up. Give me a second. The area once used for tunnels, I'm just gonna say tunnels, is now a barren landscape of destruction. Nearby in Rafad, very, very powerful city district, the Holy Land troops continue to battle these uh, militants in a tunnel network. The ongoing biblical war has displaced over a million Palestinian, you know what? Mm. Guys, make sure you check out the videos I posted today. The links will be in the comments box. And, um... I did post a video, um... You have 35 cities, 35 cities could be underwater and experts are sounding the alarm. New York City, um, we have all these other places, Miami, uh, just very concerning. So all the links will be in the comments box. Also guys, there was multiple buses that arrived in Texas. Yes, the new people have arrived. There's a lot more buses coming, tons of buses. Mexico president just announced buses underway. So the links will be in the comments box, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my other channel. Make sure you subscribe to my other channel. The links will be in the comments box. Let 
what in the world happened here? Pentagon on lockdown? Again? <laughs> I mean, something tells me a crackdown on something illegal and transparent. I recall the day when they skip all that. What? Due to police activity. I guess we're getting closer to November. Give me a second here, guys. I'm trying to see if I could get any more updates about the uh, the Pentagon, but uh, everything seems like it's good now. But uh, yeah, there's some strange stuff. Oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. I have something here. Elon shared this one. Just in. You have these new people cuffed for, wow, for taking out after a family of four was found. Oh my. D-E-A-D -E in there. But oh man. Wow. My condolences and prayers. To the families and friends. I lost a loved one. Julio. Who was. Oh man. Wanted in the Dominican Republic. Wow. Two young ones. And parents. And others were allegedly out by this individual. This was a horrific scene. In almost 32 years of doing this job, I have never seen anything like it. This is Labor Day. It's supposed to be a joyous day spending time with your loved one. Man. Elon just shared that one. Elon said, when is enough enough? Guys, this is the video right here. Make sure you check it out. All right, so you got the uh, the buses. They have arrived and a lot more are coming. This link will be in the comments box, all right? So make sure you check out the video, guys. There's gonna be multiple links. And also, make sure you check out this one here, right? Cities are sinking. 32 major cities are sinking, including New Orleans, New York City, Miami, and San Francisco. All right, so that video will also be in the comments box. We have breaking news updates. A local health emergency declared due to airport fire in Orange County. So the declaration issued by the county uh, experts is due to the potential public. Wow. Hazardous debris, including ash and contaminated uh, materials from destroyed structures. These substances may cause immediate and long-term wow risk if not properly handled. The declaration allows for necessary prevention, uh, preventive measures to safeguard public safety basically the air is impacted you can't even see the sun so much smoke going on all right guys i think i'm gonna end it right here but please check out the videos I posted today. All the information will be in the comments box. Now, once again, the Bears putting out their warnings. They're putting out their warnings. 
And uh, hopefully we don't see nothing, but my gut tells me October surprise. There's a possibility October surprise and November to remember. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.